if you've got lots of rows in your worksheet, there's a pretty nice little hack to allow you to navigate up and down the rows quite quickly with a drop down, just like this. I'll show you how you build it. Let's go. Here's my setup. I've got a nice drop down box. I can click on a subsection and go to that, or I can click on this and go to workings. And it's pretty easy to set up. Here's my table that's got all my sections in. And if I add a new section, it automatically appears in my box. I can click on it, click go to, and it jumps the cursor down to that one. So that's the sort of idea behind it. Let me show you how I set it up. So I'm going to start with a, a new sheet. And just in here, I'm going to just start with a table. Okay. And control T, my table has headers. This is going to be called, I don't know, section. And this will be um, section one. And here we have section two. So you have this table. I'm going to name it. So I go to TBL sections. Okay, so this is the named table. Now, I want to do a drop down list that grabs those section names. So that's my starting point. So there's a lovely function called filter. So equals filter. Now you will need, you know, the versions of Excel that have filter and XLOOKUP for this demo to work. So Office 365 and um, Office 2021 now as well. This table, where this table does not equal blank. So there's my dynamic little list with all the spaces removed. Excellent, that's my drop down list. So then over here, data, data validation. I will pick the list option. And the source is this but you press the hash as well to make sure the hash sign so that you actually grab everything in that list. And while I'm here, I may as well go home and make it an input type cell just to color it differently. So there's my drop downs. Excellent. Okay. So then how do I do the navigation bit? Well, you can use the hyperlink function to jump to a particular cell, but you need the cell address. So how do I get the cell address for section one? You use the XLOOKUP function. So XLOOKUP this value in this list and bring me back this item, section one. But you can wrap this in a cell address formula. Put a bracket on the end, B8. OK, and then you can wrap this inside a hyperlink function. Hyperlink, you've got to do hash ampersand. So the hash is for an internal hyperlink. Um, and then you just need a friendly name. So comma uh, go to close the bracket. So here we have it goes to section one. If I change this to section two and go to it goes to section two. You know, this sort of thing, looking up the section twice, could be a really good use of let, but we'll not bother with that today. Um, and we're essentially done. So all like all you have to do then is maybe hide these columns or even better, group them in my view. So if I go to the data tab and choose group, those are now collapsed, can be collapsed. And I prefer having my little grouping icon on the left so here's a little tip that lots of people aren't aware of. There's a little tiny drop down here for group, this little icon. If you click that, you can turn off this below and to the right, and then your nice icon appears to the left. Okay. And there we go. We've now have the ability to just go to section one, jump to it, go to section two, and so on. So if I insert a whole bunch of rows here, okay, so section two is way down here, 
Am I? Let me just pretend and let's just draw a box in here. So insert uh, shape. Let's pretend I've got lots of workings and stuff here. Great. So I'm back up here and I want to go to section two. It actually jumps to the top of that section. I'd like to see more of it. So that's the beauty of having this table is that this section two could be here. Yeah, in the middle of the section or wherever makes sense. So then, when I go back up the top, and I'd recommend turning on freeze panes maybe, free the top row like that. So then when I go to section two, it's actually halfway down the section. So it's really flexible. You can add as many breaks as you want. You just keep dragging this little table down. You can have another one here. It automatically then, you know, if I come back at the top here, it automatically gets added to this little list. I would give this a little heading and it automatically appears here. Beautiful. So that's it. Let me know what you think. Is it useful? Um, please give me some feedback, like this video, subscribe and tell people about this channel. Catch you later.